Welcome to the Holy Church of Art. Who are the unbaptized among us? <laughs> As usual, I have freshly flowed in water from Jeff Coon's bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Church of Art, you are baptized. No, the Holy Church of Art, you are baptized. Jerry, have you been baptized? Okay. Connie, have yes. you been baptized? Yes, thank you. Keith, have you been baptized? Yes. You <laughs> baptized into the Holy Church of Art. I think more hair will grow there too. So <laughs> <laughs> Today, we have a very special guest with us who's come from, where did you come from? The Holy Land. The Holy Land. We have with us Reverend Rodney Rembrandt. And so, would everybody give him a rousing amen? Amen. amen. That's not rousing. <laughs> amen. 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 Thank you, Reverend. Thank you, Gary. Can we please, uh, just out of respect to this great designer, bow your heads and out their prayer. Our Creator, who art on the right side of the brain, fire be thy name. Thy body of work, how my intentions be done in the gallery as they are in your studio. Give us this day our daily ideas and forgive us our ignorance and three point perspective. As we forgive those who still draw train tracks to show one point. <clears throat> and lead us not into the prostitution of commercial art or the self righteous intellectual arrogance of fine art. So, for us mainly from the evil one, the art critic, the studio, the inspiration, the creativity now and today, and which we must contemplate this. Thank you for coming. I will respect the merits of Start with the reading. days before our humans had nothing to make, so filled their time with all sorts of non-creative activities, such as Sudoku, watching reruns of 90-foot comedy, making babies, eating in bloody shelter. People of the tribe, apathetic nations, were content people, but their spirits were asleep. One day a prophet by the name of Bob came into the land, and the apathetic nations <coughs> welcomed him. They said, sit with us, play our games, watch our televisions, have sex with our wives, eat and be sheltered. Bob was disturbed because the Creator had blessed him with a vision where humans would rise up from their meaningless tasks and become a creative people. For seven years, <coughs> Bob stayed with these people and followed their customs. In particular, he enjoyed eating their food and making babies. He made lots, lots of babies. So even a prophet needs to get laid for himself. One night, the Creator spoke to the TV to Bob while he was watching Seinfeld. The soup Nazi yelled, no soup for you, and Bob it was time for the flesh was nearing the night. He gathered all the apathetic nations into the village square and told them of his visions and how one day humans would make art of the creator of us. Sadly, they called him a radical clown and drowned him. A moment of devoted <coughs> silence for Bob the Martyr. I'll read something from the, the new text, the contemporary art, the book of contemporary art, chapter 1, verse 1. From the beginning of time, the story of Bob the martyr has been told to every civilization and people. He was a man who brought the message of creativity to the epithet. And that's where he pregnant 144 women. So gross. <coughs> of the tribe of each gave birth to seven children. A new society grew, one that flourished with creativity. The land threw away their television, kept breeding to the minimum level, to survive and sustain themselves only on protein bars, cigarettes, gin, and vitamins. <laughs> no one built private shelter anymore, anymore, for the landscape, the entire landscape had become an urban landscape. But within these warehouses, creativity reigned. It was a perfect picture of every art student getting a BFA, not finding a job, moving back to his parents' family. All individual energy was spent consumed with ideas. Fleshing them out in drawing, painting, sculpture, 
photography installation, video illustration design, and the most holy form of art performance. But the people of this age have grown just as blind as those in the times of the apathetic condition. Instead of being cut off from the source of creativity, they were consumed by it. A practical activity was nearly impossible, and any type of planning or group project deteriorated into philosophical debate about aesthetic originality, idolization of the Renaissance era, or any other meaningless theoretical debate concerning art. A reconciler was desperately needed to bring into harmony the tradition of the practical apathetic Venetian and the impractical fanaticism of his contemporary creator. Brothers and sisters, friends, I am that reconciler. Are you ready to be healed? I can sense that there is a lot of sickness in this room. I can sense that you struggle between the dark and the light, the creative and the rational. Maybe you, you want to make, you have a lot of ideas and you want to create something. But then the other part of you wants to pay your bills. So you want to sleep all day, you want to eat all day. How can you make these things work together? Well, I've come here to show you, to heal you. I sense there's someone here in this room, someone here that they have a conflict, conflict with, they were a great artist. I see that in my mind's eye. They are a great, great artist. But they can get in the position of uh, administration, some type of administrative duty. And they, they're conflicted between these administrative duties and their, their creative work. So what we need to do, what we need to do is, is combine these things together. His name is, his name is, his name is Keith. Keith, is there a Keith in the room here? Keith, am I right? Do you need healing today between your conflict of administration and creative duty? Uh, I'm okay. I think I'm all right. That's all right. I will heal you. I know you are. Be healed. Take this. I break the bonds. I break the bonds. Be healed. Thank you, designer. Thank you, designer. You are so good to us. I do not know. 
I did find this in my tackle box. It is some piece, some, some old, I have no idea what this is. It's some old artifact, <laughs> some kind of hieroglyphic Sumerian text. It may be used by ancient, some kind of fetishized something. I have no idea. Maybe you will know what to do with this. Perhaps this will heal you, my son. Yes, as you see, you already have found a way. Be healed! <laughs> I'll break the bond. Take this with you. Is it in the oil? I sent an anomaly to the town. You will to fix you. Fix it is. Let's have a round of applause for our Reverend Rodney Rembrandt. 